and out of the side of Jesus, God brought the church. When the Roman soldier pierced him in his side and out of his side came blood and water, the New Testament was in his blood. That was you and 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 you. And just as surely as Eve came from the side of Adam, the church comes from the side of Jesus. What is more intimate than that? He staggered up the cobblestone streets of Jerusalem, stumbling like a drunkard, but he was not drunk. He was weighted down with a cross too heavy for he alone to carry. But I'm not sure that it is the weight of the cross that made it heavy, but the weight of our sins that made it so heavy that had it not been for Simon Cyrene, he wouldn't have finished his mission. And had he not said yes in the Garden of Gethsemane, he would not have finished his mission. And had he not humbled himself and became a lamb instead of a lion, he would not have finished his mission. And had he sought revenge on his attackers, he would not have finished his mission but with the humility of an innocent lamb, Jesus lays down and becomes obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And he hung his head and for his bride, he died. What a shocking contrast between the last man, Adam, and the first man, Adam. Because when the first man, Adam, was faced with the sins of his bride, he didn't carry them. He didn't correct them. And he didn't die for her. He partook of her sins and died with her. So Adam died with his bride. And Jesus died for his bride. Him dying for his bride broke the curse. Adam could have done it, but he didn't. So Jesus is called the last man, Adam, because he reversed the curse by dying for his bride. What greater love have any man than this that he lay down his life? There is no question about love if you lay down your life. I am loved. You are loved. We are loved. You are loved. They are loved. Your children are loved. How do I know I'm loved? I know I'm loved by how much you were willing to pay for me. The ultimate sacrifice. When God got ready to show how much you were worth, he gave his son then how can you have low self-esteem? How can you devalue what he has valued? When he paid the price that redeems you from your sin. Funny, out of the side of Adam, God brought Eve. And out of the side of Jesus, God brought the church. When the Roman soldier pierced him in his side and out of his side came blood and water, the New Testament was in his blood. That was you and 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 you. And just as surely as Eve came from the side of Adam, the church comes from the side of Jesus. What is more intimate than that? To be begotten by God. The first birth was done by a man. I don't know whether it was a C-section or a Y-section, but it was done by a man. Adam birthed Eve. And Eve birthed Cain and Abel and Seth. 
And so the world began. And when God got ready to do it over again, he took Jesus into labor. And when he took Jesus into labor, he reached in him and pulled us from him that we might be the bride of Christ. And I know it was real because when he died, the veil in the temple was rent from the top to the bottom. Just like the veil in a woman's body has to be ripped to give birth, the veil in the temple being ripped gives indication to the fact that God is in labor. And the glory is about to be revealed. And the water coming out of his side is when the water broke. And when the water broke, the church evolved and the message began. And that is what this is all about. It hurts to be fruitful. And if you don't endure the crushing, you will never have the wine. It is finished. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.